You are welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing algebraic simplification. So in algebra, letters actually stand for numbers. Instead of saying 3 times A times B, we just say 3AB. W is multiplying itself 4 times. So we simply say W raised to the power of 4. Now let's see like and unlike terms. 4B and 6B can be added together to get 10B. Why? They are referred to as like terms. But 4B and 3A cannot be added together. Why? Because they are unlike terms. A and B are unlike terms. So let's see the first example. Evaluate 3 y raised to the power 2 times 4 y raised to the power 3. So we say equal to 3 times y times y, which is y raised to the power 2. Then 4 times y times y times y, which is the y raised to the power 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. Y is multiplying itself 5 times. So we simply say y raised to the power of 5. And when we multiply 12 and y raised to the power 5, we get our 12 y raised to the power 5. So let's see another example to help us remember our application of board mass. Find the value of 16 times 2 minus 3 plus 14 divided by 7. Now from our board mass, we discover that multiplication and division has to be carried out before addition and subtraction. So the first thing we are going to do there, we are going to multiply and we are going to divide the first two numbers and the last two numbers. Okay, 16 times 2 is 32, 14 divided by 7 is 2, then we add then subtract 3 at last, we get 31. Let's see example 3. Simplify 7 times 3a minus bracket open 3a plus 5a bracket close times 2. Now from our board mass, the first thing is our bracket. So we simplify what is inside a bracket. 3a plus 5a is 8a. So now we can multiply the first two and the last two. And we get 21a minus 16a. And we get 5a because they are like terms. Okay, example 4. We are asked to simplify 45q raised to power 3y all over 3q y raised to the power 4. So first we have to simplify 45. 45 is the same thing as 3 times 15. Y raised to the power 3 is q raised to the power 3, sorry, is q times q times q, then times y all over 3 times q times y times y times y times y. So 3 can cancel out 3. Q can cancel out Q, Y can cancel out Y. So on the numerator we have 15 Q square. Then on that on the denominator we have Y raised to the power 3. So this is the assessment questions right there.